Here's why I decided to do this video. Because I know that as a real estate agent, you are bombarded with all kinds of gimmicks, quite honestly, to that are that actually sound really good because they don't require you to put any effort into learning anything. It's just, you know, things you do and, and throw money at with the hope to actually get a return. Um, I know some agents are told to, you, before you even go on the appointment, you want to take a beautiful photo of the outside of this house and you want to show them how you would do social media ads or even run an ad which costs money. The pictures cost money. The ads cost money. And you create these huge flyers and you have this package of information which is all very costly. I've even heard of, you know, you want to buy the seller dinner. Listen, I've listed 150 FISBOs a year for several years. Sold about 130 of them in one of the most competitive real estate markets in the country. When I was going, when I was calling these FISBOs and expires and going on these listing appointments, I was competing in many cases with dozens of real estate agents, some of which when I started were already selling 100, 200 homes a year. That's the kind of market I started real estate in. And I had no idea what I was doing. And I can tell you from personal experience of having listed over 1,500 FISBOs and expires. They're not looking for any of that. For one thing, you know, when I think about buying a seller dinner, I think you, that could be more of an inconvenience than anything else. I mean, I've walked on listing appointments in all kinds of situations. Like, that doesn't even make sense. It's going to cost you money, and that is not what a seller is looking for. That's not why they're going to hire you. It's not shiny packages of, of information. It's not buying them gifts, buying them food or taking pictures. Sure. You can explain to the seller all the things you're going to do to market their home aggressively, but ultimately it's one very simple thing sellers are looking for. And that is, they are going to list with an agent that make them feel confident that they know what they're doing. They can sell their home for the most money possible in the least amount of time with the least amount of hassle. That's what you have to do. You have to show up and make that seller feel confident that you can do all the three things that I just said period. When you make them feel confident, they will list with you. That's what it takes. Now, there are a lot of things involved in them feeling confident. It's what you say, how you say it, and who you are being at, at this listing appointment. And this is coming from someone who's been on thousands of listing appointments. In the beginning of my real estate career, I used to hit my head against the wall all the time and I learned from that. And eventually my fourth year in real estate, I actually closed 100 transactions, all physicals and expires. I had zero experience. I started from zero, like literally nothing. Okay. Made a lot of mistakes, learned from it. And I know what works and I know what doesn't work. Gimmicks are not going to take, get you listings. You, investing in yourself this money you're thinking you would spend on whatever it is okay all the stuff that people tell you to do out there invest in yourself in your education in hiring a coach that knows exactly what to do that you can model an effective model because there are different models there are different coaches you want to be careful who you listen to because it's going to cost you time. It's going to cost you money. The best investment you make in your real estate career is one that's going to build your skills, your confidence, and develop your mindset of that agent 
who's confident in what they're doing. And how long is this going to take? <laughs> I know you must be thinking about that, right? How long it's going to take for you to develop the confidence. Listen, even if your confidence is at a zero like my mine was when I got a real estate license, it's not going to take four years. I See, I can tell you, not only from personal experience, but actually I've been coaching real estate agents for 16 years. I've coached for very large coaching companies, the largest in the country. And I have had tens of thousands of agents on my schedule. So I'm not just saying, well, you know, that was your experience. No, no, no. This is how it is. I can tell you with confidence, this is how it is. It's, it shouldn't take you long at all if you really want it. If you want to make this thing work for yourself fast, it's possible. Building confidence, you're going to become more and more confident as you go. But the number one thing you need to do immediately to build your confidence is learn what to say. Get a hold of effective scripts and learn them and internalize them. It doesn't take long. How long does it take for you to learn the lyrics of a song that all of a sudden becomes your favorite song? Not long, you just sing along over and over, you read the lyrics a few times within a day or two, you're singing along to the entire thing. It's the same, repetition is how you learn scripts. And just knowing what to say is gonna give you tremendous confidence. That's step number one. You cannot just show up to a listing presentation and you know make things up as you go. You need an effective script. Check out SalesX Training. That's my training company, Effective Scripts many, many dozens, hundreds of clients getting incredible results. And I know you could do it as well. You can behave confidently, even if you don't have confidence yet, you can do that. I promise you can do that. Follow an effective model. That's what successful people do. They find a model that works and they follow it. And you can do the same thing. Stop spending money out there. I know, you know, I, I, I went through a lot. I made a lot of mistakes in the beginning of my real estate career, but one that I didn't make was actually throw money in things that don't work. Like, Hey, and I know it's not easy to, 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 to you listen to so much stuff where you should do this, spend money on this, do that, buy them this, buy them that. And you're like, I didn't have any money for one thing. And the little investment I made, I made in my education. It was the best money and time that I've ever invested in my entire life. When I think about all the years and hours that I spent in school, the time and money I spent in my real estate career has made me millions. And it's going to continue to do that because it has the ability to do that. So invest in yourself. Don't throw money at anything or anybody. You improve yourself and you're going to see how you're going to win big on your listing appointments because you slowly can get your closing ratio on listing appointments to over 90%. I know you can. If you want it, you can definitely do it. Thank you so much for watching this video. Put your comments and questions below. If you're not subscribed to the channel, do that. We put out videos every single week. And thanks again. I'll see you soon.